Family Drug. Today's topic of discussion will be on the medication metformin, also known as the brand name glucophage. Metformin works in three different ways to lower the blood sugar levels. The first way is that it makes your cells become more sensitive to the insulin, which lets the cells to absorb and use the sugar more effectively, which reduces the amount of sugar in the blood. The second way is that it decreases the amount of sugar being absorbed by your intestines from the food that you eat. This means less sugar makes it into your bloodstream. The third way, apart from the food that you eat, your body, specifically your liver, makes sugar. Metformin works by reducing the amount of sugar the liver is producing. So how do you take metformin? Metformin is started at a lower dose and gradually increased so your body has the time to adjust to the new medication. You want to take metformin with food because this will help you feel less sick or nauseous. The short-acting metformin can be cut in half. There's also an extended version of the metformin. Instead of all the medication being released into your body and absorbed at once, metformin ER is released and absorbed over the extended period of time. This makes it easier on your digestive system. Don't crush, chew, or break the extended release tablet. Swallow it as a whole. Some common side effects of metformin include stomach discomfort like gas, upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea, or cramping. For most people, this will go away after a few weeks of taking it. If it doesn't stop or it's too excessive, ask your provider about the long-acting version of metformin, which is less likely to have these side effects. Some uncommon side effects include chest pain, rash, and if these happen, call your doctor immediately and get to the emergency room. Although low blood sugar is uncommon with metformin, Low blood sugar may occur if it is prescribed with other diabetic medications. Some minor drug interactions include with furosemide, topiramate, and some antibiotics that can increase the risk of lactic acidosis. Blood pressure medications like ramipril, lisinopril, can increase the risk of low blood sugar. Chronic use of metformin can cause vitamin B12 deficiency, so you may want to talk to your doctor about adding a supplement. What happens when you miss a dose of metformin? You want to take the medication as soon as you can, but skip the missed dose if it is almost time for your next dose. Do not take two doses at one time. Alright guys, that's it for today. We'll see you soon.